I thought this was easy, but I looked like this when I first tried it. The L sit is a fundamental exercise that requires you to lift your body with your arms and maintain an L shape. And I decided to work on it until I can hold it for 10 seconds straight. On day one, after realizing that I couldn't do it on the floor, I also tried doing it on the push-up bars, as I thought that it could be easier with me being elevated. But still, I couldn't do it. I tried stretching my hamstring, but that also didn't help. I tried it on the higher dipping bars, and apparently there's a huge gap between my legs and the bars. The next few days, I focused on my flexibility and the core strength. But after a couple of days of practice, I still didn't see much improvement in my outset. Feeling a bit frustrated, I decided to do some research on YouTube, and there are actually three good takeaways from a video. Number one, if you can touch your toes, you're flexible enough, which I definitely am. Number two, align your shoulders with your body in a neutral position, which I was kind of doing it wrong. Number three, I observed that this guy always starts from a tuck position, but I always start with extended legs. On day seven, with these takeaways in mind, I went back and tried again. And some magic happened. I held the L sit on the push up bars for the first time. But I noticed that my feet were below the bars sometimes, so I tried it with my shoes off, as I thought that might make it easier to lift the feet up. Surprisingly, I held on the push up bars for over 10 seconds. But when I tried applying the same techniques on the ground, I still couldn't do it. I thought I didn't have enough core strengths because my body is no longer elevated, so I trained more on my cores. But I quickly realized that if I could do it on a bar, I should have the strength. There must be something else missing. But what is that? The other day I was practicing handstand with a local calisthenics coach, Brian. He told me it's way harder to handstand on the ground than on the bars because you cannot use your wrists to make small adjustments to balance yourself. And that gave me an epiphany. It was easier on the bars not because I was elevated, but because I could adjust my wrists to balance myself, but it's way harder to do so when I'm pushing against the floor. I watched more videos on YouTube while only focusing on people's wrists and hands, and I found the secret sauce. The key difference here is that their fingers are curled like a claw, but my hands were completely flat. Those curled fingers are probably giving them the balancing strength. Another minor detail is that the softer turf might have also made it harder. So on day 11, I tried doing it on the hard floor with curled fingers, and I held it for 8 seconds. I realized I had a bit of a rounded shoulder because I didn't push my scapula all the way down. That was probably what was holding me back. So on day 13, with a fully recovered body, here comes the magic moment. Overall, the L sit is relatively easy for me to learn compared with the muscle up. I would definitely recommend you to learn this if you want to start calisthenics. I've also been working on other techniques such as the handstand and human flag, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.